Help, I've never played Fallout. Where should I start? Hey everyone, welcome into the show. I'm Clayton Morris, so glad to, to be with you and here to talk about video games. Of course, everyone is talking about Fallout. Why? Well, because it's on Amazon Prime. It's a new show and it's gotten rave reviews and people absolutely love it. Well, Fallout has been on my backlog list for a long time as a game to play. Uh, a close friend of mine who works with me, uh, he is one of those guys who spent thousands upon thousands of hours playing Fallout 4 to the point where he's never completed the game on purpose. He just continues to do certain missions and side stuff and he on purpose has never finished the game. He's obsessed with Fallout. He's always talked about it and I've never played the game. So if you're like me and you're thinking, wow, I really would like to play Fallout. I just don't know where to start. I've had quite a number of discussions with Fallout fans and experts who've played all of the games and who've given me a lot of feedback. So I thought I'd just come in today and talk about where to maybe start playing Fallout if you're a newbie like me. Again, I've never played any of the Fallout games. So um, let me just say this about the differences in some of the games from what I understand, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, which I'm sure you will if you're a Fallout fan. The first two games, of course, were available on the PC uh, back in the day, in the late 1990s, of course, and they were PC games. They were meant to be played with a mouse and a keyboard, very point-and-click centric as an RPG, a top-down isometric RPG. Um, and bearing that in mind as you kind of go through and decide whether you want to start there or you want to start with some of the later games. Freak, when it comes to approaching game series, I can't just jump in at number eight. I can't just jump in at number five. I usually have to start at number one. However, Fallout's been a bit of a different animal for me, given the fact that yes, the first two are PC games, mostly. That's how they were designed. They're point and click over you know, uh, top-down isometric role-playing games. And starting with Fallout 3, which I actually picked up, I have some copies here that I picked up on the PlayStation 3. So I actually have these in my backlog and I have not played them yet. I've got Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3. So I, I already own these games. And for so many people have said, you, you just, just start with Fallout 3. Just start with this game. Just start with the Game of the Year edition if you can get your hands on it and just jump into this because it is a first-person shooter style game. It is not like the first two games and it's a perfect entry point into the series. Now, there's another way that you could do this, which a bunch of my friends have been doing as well who've never played Fallout, which is they're starting with the television show. They're starting with the show and they're watching all of the episodes. I think it's, you know, it's, it's already done. The whole season's available. You can go and watch it. Yes, there's apparently a cliffhanger, but you just can watch the whole Fallout season yourself. And then if you want to go back and start playing some of the games, uh, you're not going to be lost if you want to do it that way. That's not the way that I'm going to do it. There's no way that I can do it that way. I can't I can't wrap my brain around uh, starting with the television show and not, not starting with the original lore. So, a bunch of my Fallout expert friends who've played all of them have said, look, if you want all of the lore then you'd be missing all of the lore, a big chunk of it, if you skipped one and two. You won't be lost. Like, you could still enjoy the television show eventually. You won't be lost if you start with three and go to four, etc. But you'll be missing a good kind of inception point of the original lore of the show if you skip one and two. So, you decide, you kind of do you. Do you want to start with the role-playing games? Do you want to start with the top-down sort of isometric play of Fallout? Or do you want to kind of skip right to this new experience with Fallout 3, first-person shooter style, um, where you start off in this vault, apparently? I keep hearing about this vault. Again, total newbie here, total newbie. I, the only thing I do, you know, the only thing I do know about it, which is super appealing to me, is the idea that there's some sort of a fallout, some sort of an atomic fallout, and things sort of gotten stuck in the 1950s, which is, which is when this occurred. So everything is like 1950s iconography and imagery and pictures and cars and all of that. And I love that idea. I just love that concept for a game that you're trapped in the 1950s with some music playing in the background and some 50s music. Oh my God. It takes me back to like Back to the Future. You know, that's why I love 
one of you know love back to the future going back to 1955 or whatever and experiencing that whole vibe is really really cool so to have that have that experience it would be it would be exciting so could you start at number three yes you can are you going to be losing a lot of the lore eh, maybe a little bit yeah some of it but you're going to be fine okay starting with three and then going to maybe and then playing new vegas next and then going to Fallout 4, which of course is ripe for a big update that's coming out as well for Fallout 4. And you know, a lot of my friends are starting over on Fallout 4. They're gonna go back and just completely start a brand new campaign. So again, that's kind of the approach. For me, I will say, I'm going to start with number one because I'm a crazy freak. I have to start with the first. I've decided, I've kind of gone back and forth on this over the past few days about where I'm gonna start in this series. I just need to start with number one. I just, I need to experience that. But the problem is I'm a console gamer. I like playing on consoles. I like playing on my PS5. I like playing on my Nintendo Switch. Um, how can I play this game? So let me just talk about where you can actually find these games. We're doing a, quite a bit of digging over the past few days to figure this out. So if you want to play on Xbox, God forbid you want to play on Xbox. We've talked about my feelings on Microsoft here on the channel. Please watch my other videos on Xbox and why you know many of you of course have canceled Game Pass for this very reason. But yes, you can actually play Fallout 1, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, Fallout Shelter, Fallout 4, Fallout 76 using Game Pass. Like if you wanna do that and you wanna play it on Xbox, you can do that. I am absolutely not going to do that. Um, on PlayStation, here are your choices. You can play Fallout Shelter, Fallout 4, Fallout 76, that is available on PlayStation. Now to play the original, you know, Fallout 1 and 2, you can go to Steam. So you can play it on the PC. Of course, originally built for the PC. Now I'm not a PC gamer. So this is gonna be a new experience for me. I'm actually gonna install Steam for the first time on my PC and I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna play Fallout on my PC for the first time. Now look, I used to play PC games all the time growing up with a mouse and a keyboard, but I haven't played them in years on a PC, I love playing on a console. I like sitting back on my couch or my chair and playing it that way with a controller in my hand. So this is gonna be a new experience, but I definitely want to experience Fallout in sort of its original form, the idea to be able to, you know, again, play it with a mouse and a keyboard. So I'm gonna download Steam, I'm gonna install that, and I'm going to start playing Fallout uh, on my PC. I'd love to hear from you guys. How do you guys plan to play these games? Are you planning to play it? What I found interesting is that sales chart numbers this week are off the charts for Fallout. In fact, Fallout 4 is now the number one game, the number one game on the sales charts this week ahead of Helldivers 2. So it knocked Helldivers off the top of the chart, but also in the top 10 of games right now in sales, Fallout 3 is in the top 10 and Fallout 76 is also in the top 10. So there's a huge Fallout resurgence right now. And let me just say this before I, I, I get you guys out of here, which is I think these moments are important. I think these sort of cultural moments, it's a small moment though, right? It's like, okay, there's a show on Amazon. It's not like it's the Olympics or something, right? Or, we're, or the Super Bowl. But it's a, it's a big show and, every, and you know all my friends are talking about it. And I think we don't have a lot of that anymore. You know, back in the day when you'd watch broadcast television, like every Thursday night, you know, you might watch Seinfeld and then you talk about it the next day with your friends and everyone was gonna sit down and watch a show on a Sunday night and have that experience. We don't really have that anymore. So I think it's important when you have these sort of cultural moments and to be part of that conversation as human beings and to be able to connect with your friends in that way. and. For me, I'd never played it. It's something that I want to experience. And I think it's healthy. And I think it's uh, it's not FOMO or anything like that. But I think these like these cultural moments where everyone is kind of talking about a great sh TV show that's connected to a great video game series and people are kind of checking out these games for the first time. I think it's important for us to be kind of involved in those conversations. I think it uh, I think it's good for us, to be honest with you. I think, it, well, I know it's good for me and I enjoy it, and I enjoy being able to talk to my friends about it. There's nothing worse than having a conversation with your friends, and they're like, oh, you haven't played it yet? I, I don't want to spoil anything for you. I'm not going to, no, I'm just not going to have that conversation with you, you know? And it's, it's way more fun to be connected as human beings to have those conversations. So I'm going to download Steam for the first time. I'm going to play Fallout on my PC, which I can't believe I'm saying out loud. 
And uh, yeah, I can't wait to try Fallout and experience it for the first time. Let me know in the comments below, how do you plan to play the games? Have you ever played them before? And where are you jumping in? Are you going to jump in at three? Are you going to jump in at four? Maybe you'll jump in at New Vegas. And I, you know, one of another friend said that they, he loved Fallout Shelter as one of his favorite games of all time. So there's another game that you can play on your mobile device as well, Fallout Shelter. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to come in and talk about Fallout and uh, have this discussion about uh, how I'm going to play these games. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you intend to do on Fallout. And we'll see you next time, everyone.